nice. Oh, we can pet the frog. Nice Dang. camera work. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. 10,000 flavors. Ah, oh, nice. Very cool. Because of the 10,000 needle attack. Very cool. Look inside. It's filled with dead cats. Holy shit. Uh, sorry, Collar. <laughs> That's my sister, by the way. She has two cats and she had some more before and she loves cats and yeah, dead cats is, uh, yeah, not great. And to be honest, isn't it a little bit, is this, isn't this game a little bit like, uh, what's the, what's the word of the, 101 ways to die or something? I think there's another game where you can just do some stuff and, and even the littlest things kill you. And yeah, it seems fun as well, but I've never played it, but I've seen some videos of it. Um, okay, okay. You know there are dead cats inside. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, let's start from the top. Let's go left. A frog. Hello. And then, this is also very weird because my mother loves frogs. <laughs> uh, nod or shake head. I should have read the text up there. The frog joined you. Oh, cool. Do you like frogs? My mom does, like I said. Yeah, yeah. The lost frog searching for his home. Oh, we can pet the frog? Oh, the frog is happy. Cool. I'm gonna keep him. And how, pray tell, will we get that grain to the capital if the roads are still overrun with Akashic? You'll find another bloody road. I only have so many men, and I'm not about to send them headlong into an ether flood. That is, unless you'd have them turn as well. Well, I'd certainly eat less. <laughs> Says the man with a belly bigger than a band of curls. <laughs> My soldiers actually need their rations. Without any food to keep them going, they'll be dead even before you've sent them on your fool's errand. And once those who crowd the cities are fed, ferry the displaced back to the countryside to work the fallow fields. Ah, but I'm sure that you wish to continue your discussion. Forgive the interruption. <laughs> Two such firm friends as yourselves need no help from the likes of me. Rutherford spoke fondly of the great bond between you. Us? <laughs> friends? <laughs> I can't stand the man! Clive, I'm beginning to question the quality of the company you keep. And what kind of company are you expecting him to keep? The man's a criminal! Criminal? How? <laughs> How? Nice camera you? work. <laughs> you are not fit to breathe the same air as this. Fine! Upstanding young gentleman. Upstanding? He calls himself Sid the Bloody Outlaw! Once more unto the breach. So far, so good. My ATB bar is full. Why can't I hit you? Ach, wrong button. Alright! Oh, done. It took forever. Like, I don't know, three minutes, but still. <laughs> Feels like forever. Nice. A silver brawler's gloves and gold saucer points. Beautiful. Let's just put the book in here. I think I think this is what we need to do. Oh, read. I'm dying, right? Because, yeah, of course. Of course. Sure. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> well, in this case, uh, the girl. Well, we're 13, so we're dumb. So, <laughs> it just fits. I must say, your duel with Dio earlier was a sight to behold. <laughs> Gave me goosebumps. <laughs> the stage calls to you. 
<laughs> begs for you to bear your soul upon it. Mm -hmm. What are you doing out here? What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? Later. No. Not even the limelight can melt that icy heart. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> If there's anything I can do to help you kill this Ultima bloke, you just say the word, eh? You could promise to take Sid's name off my hands. <laughs> the first time you don't hear him talk, but he has some text. Oi. Don't even joke about that. Anyway, I thought you said you hadn't finished with it yet. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Now, if you wanted to give me an even grander title, something to rival your... Sit the outlaw, that would be a different story. Let's see. Gaff the Magnificent, Gaff the Almighty, Gaff the Lionheart. Something along those lines. I'll leave that to you to decide. But he's moving his lips. This is so weird. This is really weird. This looks wrong. Yeah, this is really... The hell? And he keep, he's just not stopping. Okay, I'm just gonna keep reading on. I'm sure you're more than capable of choosing the perfect moniker for Sid's right-hand man. <laughs> right-hand man, eh? I'll take it. <laughs> okay, that was weird. You off then. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go nice and slow.
Oh, I got 30k! Nice! Oh, that was close. But then again, first try, I like. Cool, cool. Break ass. Beautiful. Yeah, just slow and easy and uh, try to hit as many as possible. That's all I can say. Nothing like real world expertise. I heard something and I was like, what the hell is that? Hmm? Yeah, it's uh, the knife. <laughs> that's just... That's just great. Yeah, fuck off. Don't dare throw another one. Okay, I have to run. Good to know, I have to run. <laughs> this is really just trial and error. In a way. Ah, a little bit too quick. Mm. Through this door until the next, let nothing distract you. Well, I'm gonna be distracted, I can tell you already. Ah, uh, I wasn't supposed to move. It distracted me and I thought I have to evade again. Fucking hell. Come on, kill me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yeah, so the note was right. Alright, don't get distracted, so just, just run. Beautiful. Fuck! I'm not even supposed to go to the cat. Ah, oh, god dang it, I just wanted to save it. Yeah, I come and kill me. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> but also very funny. Uh. There's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. Yeah, yeah, and they think it's Barrett. Right? This is how we get now into get prison. Going. There's not a moment to lose! A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. Why he was the one pose? of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... 
A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Okay. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! Enthroned in sable sky Chaos in wars From diverse hands adorned Quite slow, and yeah, I didn't like it whatsoever. <laughs> okay, okay, let's talk to Aerith. Oh, hey there, you two. Huh. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Aerith? Just checking. <laughs> what? If you were fighting or not. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm a teensy bit jealous. This place just isn't that fun when you're all by yourself. There must be someone out there who'd want to hang out with a cool person like me. <laughs> Stop it. Hmm? This isn't the time to go making new friends, right? Yeah, you heard the man, Aerith. Uh, all I'm saying is, anyone can put on a friendly face, including Shinra spies. Mm-hmm, They could Kate's be anywhere, Seth. waiting to pounce. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not that naive. I know a Shinra creep when I see one. If you say so, just stay sharp, okay? Oh, I will. Sharp as a tack. Promise. Now go. Enjoy your date. <laughs> Thanks, girl. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and look for Red, see what he's up to. Yeah. Yeah, then you can talk more to Zack somehow through Red. I don't know how this works, but yeah. A book titled A Funny Story. Sure. Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure. His cart broke down in the woods, but then a hunter and his dog came along. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, to which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the rich man returned, he saw the dog guarding the cart. 
so he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin, but the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the card and what did you do? You stole from it! So the master killed the dog. Holy shit! Yeah, because the dog can't talk. You should have given him a note as well. <laughs> okay, that was this chair. Um, hello? Nothing? Okay. Red is here. Hello. You seem to be feeling better. Yeah. You just chilling here, or? I'm hiding. Some children mistook me for a mascot. <laughs> they wanted a photo with me. Okay. Funny. Sin. In Ultima's eyes, mankind's greatest sin is the awakening of free will. His servants straying from the path, their creator laid out for them and forging one of their own. However, Clive contends that this is a sin by which Ultima is equally bestained. And indeed, if humanity is indeed Ultima's creation, does not their every action, every emotion stem from him? Yeah, true. God created mankind in his image, right? Isn't, isn't it something like this in the Bible? So even God himself, itself, herself, whatever, is flawed. Like Just like humans are flawed. I don't want to be blasphemous here, but this is just what I get from that. <laughs> She's so pretty. Looks fun, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Aww. Finally. A golden butterfly is caught in the web. Uh, I think if I take it, the spider will come. Let's see. Got a butterfly. A golden butterfly, weak but still alive. Ah, okay. You can stick it back in there. Fuck. Um. Ah! God dang it! Oh, this is not the enemy. Dude, could you please? Oh, squad kill. Okay. I don't have, I don't have, uh, I have only, like, six proton bombs and then they respawn at some point. Okay. Do I have, I have life as well? Okay. I can hold it. I was just mashing all the time. Ah, okay, okay. Well, are you an enemy? No. Maybe not. Maybe you are. Looks like you are. Oh, look at the tail. Okay. Only 16k so far. This is not enough. This can't be enough. That 
with some fine shooting. Well, it's taking quite a long time, I have to say. Mothership closing in. This is why we're here. Take it out at all costs. Space Rangers, follow my lead. Must produce their firepower. Disable the cannon. Focus on taking out their cannon. Okay, wow. Okay, I thought I had I didn't have enough, but cool. That went well. A tableware is stored in symmetrical fashion. There's a spare piece of cake. Take it. Got a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake! Just so you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. <laughs> if you want to exchange your points, you'd better hurry before I turn. Sure, okay. Put book on shelf. Yeah. You put the book on the shelf. It sounded like the glass cover fell off. Don't tell me I'm gonna get chased by the fucking head. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard something. Ah! Fuck! Oh, this is too quick. This is way too quick. Holy shit. <laughs> 